Beans or cowpea is one of the most ancient crops known to man. Its origin is associated with permillet and sorghum in Africa. It has now become a broadly adapted and highly variable crop cultivated around the world primarily for seed but also as vegetable. For leafy grains, green pods, fresh shelled green peas and shelled dried peas. Cow pea has a number of common names including crowder pea, black-eyed pea and salton pea. All cultivated beans or cow peas varieties are considered warm seasoned and adapted to heat and drought conditions. Beans typically reach a canopy height of 30 to 36 inches. Although the more determinate bush types may reach only 24 inches. The seed pod is typically 3 to 6 inches long and has 6 to 13 seeds per pod. The seed weigh per bushel is 60 pounds with about 4,000 tons per pound and the germination of the seed is rapid at soil temperatures above 650 degrees Fahrenheit. Cow pea or black eyed pea or beans, like we call it in Africa, are of the most important legume crops in semi harid tropics covering Asia, Africa, South Europe, and Central and South America. It can grow well in poor soils to so up to 85%, sand, and less than 0.2% organic matter, and low levels of phosphorus. Four subspecies are recognized, of which three are cultivated. The first written reference using cowpea appeared in 1798 in the United States, and the common name black eyed peas describes the presence of a distinctive black spot at the helium of the seed. In West Africa, it is called Nebe Wake or Ewa by the Shakuris and the Yoruba people of Nigeria. It is believed that slaves from West Africa carried cowpea or beans to the Americas, Central and Northern America during the slave trade era from 17th to 19th centuries. Insects are the only major factor in the low yields of African cowpea crops and they affect each tissue component and developmental stage of the plant. In bad infestations, insect pressure is responsible for over 90% losses in yield. The main pre-harvest pest of the cowpea causes damage to the flower buds, flower and pods of the plant. Most cowpeas are grown on African continent, particularly in Nigeria and Niger, which accounts for 72% of the world production. The Sahel region also contains other major producers such as Burkina Faso, Ghana, Senegal and Mali. In West Africa, unfortunately, Niger is the main exporter of cowpea and Nigeria the main importer in West Africa. It is estimated that about 200 million people consume cowpea on a daily basis. And outside Africa, the major production areas are Asia, Central America and South America. Brazil is the world's second leading producer of cowpea seed, producing 600,000 tons annually as compared to Nigeria and Niger who turn out 3 million tons annually. The amount of protein content in cowpea or beans is equivalent to 5 million tons of cowpea seeds, representing as much as 30% of the total food legume production in lowland tropics. Cowpea provides a rich source of proteins and calories as well as minerals and vitamins. A cowpea seed can consist of 25% protein and calories as well as minerals and is low in anti-nutrient factors. This diet complements the mainly cereal diet in countries that grow cowpeas as well as a major food crop. 
Generally, cow pea or beans can be eaten boiled, but in Nigeria it can be used to prepare various exciting, spicy and very delicious recipes and foods. When Peaked, washed, and ground, it can be turned to moi moi, a bean cake delicacy enjoyed by all tribes in Nigeria or Akara balls. It can also be added to yam to prepare yam porridge or owo beans, a delicacy enjoyed by the Shakuri people of Delta State. Beans also can be used to prepare a very sumptuous Yoruba delicacy called Beggary, which goes nice with amala. Beggary at a wedu at amala. Mmm, delicious combination. And all beans is good for you. It is good for your health. It is a rich source of protein. I would advise you to make sure you add beans to the dishes that you prepare for your children.